In this video, we're going to cover the Taylor expansion, which is a method to approximate any function you can think of around a specific x. And in this case, we will use x around 0. In particular, what we'll be doing in this video is unpack this complicated looking formula such that you understand each symbol and know where it stands for. And then you can use this formula in any exercise that you get, which we will do in later videos. In the first step, we're going to focus on the left hand side of this equation, which is this f of x with a vertical line of x approximately equal to zero. Now, what does this term mean? It means that we're going to evaluate f of x, which is any function you can think of, for instance, e to the power of x, the cosine of x, or any more complicated function. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate this function when x is very close to zero, either on the positive or the negative side. This, in a way, is exactly what the Taylor expansion does. It takes a function and it wants to find the function values for a specific region of x. And it does so by approximating this function by a polynomial. So let's now focus on the right hand side of this equation. For instance, for the second step, we'll look at the term f superscript n of zero. Now, what does this mean? Well, f superscript n of x, for example, basically just means the nth derivative. So this can be written as dn over dx n of f of x. So we basically take the nth derivative to x of our function f of x. And then once we've taken this derivative, we fill in x is equal to zero. So we can write this with our vertical line notation of x is exactly equal to zero. So basically to calculate this symbol, we first take the nth derivative and then we fill in x is equal to zero in whatever we obtain. In the third step, we're going to look at this denominator, the factorial of n. So for the third step, we take n factorial. Now, you probably know what n factorial means. It just means n multiplied by n minus one, multiplied by n minus two, all the way down to multiplication with one. So for example, three factorial is simply three times two times one, is equal to six. For the fourth step, we're going to look at this thing right here, x to the power of n, which will be the basis of our polynomial. Now, we all know, of course, what x to the power of n is, but let's just write it down. So we have x to the power of n, which is basically x times x times x, n times. Now to finish this all up, we're going to look, of course, at this large symbol right here, which is the sigma notation for a sum. We see that in our expression inside of this sum, we used n a lot in the denominator, in this nth derivative, and in the power of x. Now this n is a summation index, which means that we start from n is equal to zero, and we sum all the way up to infinity. So let's look at what this looks like. So we have this large summation symbol, which take some practice to properly write down of n is equal to zero to infinity. Now, what does this mean? Let's say, for instance, that we simply have an n in this summation symbol. For n is equal to zero, we have simply zero. Then we add the next term where n is equal to one. So one. The next term will be n is equal to two, n is equal to three, all the way up to infinity. And this, of course, is bad mathematical notation. It just means that we keep on adding terms. So now we can bring all of this together. We have our f of x filled in around x is roughly equal to zero. This will be our summation of n is equal to zero to infinity. We take the nth derivative and we fill it in in zero. We divide this by n factorial and we multiply this with our polynomial term x to the power of n. So let's see what we get. We get the first term, which is n is equal to zero. It's where we start. So we have the zeroth derivative filled in in x is equal to zero, divided by zero factorial, multiplied by x to the power of zero. 
Then we add to this the next term, n is equal to 1, which is the first derivative of our function f of x filled in in x is equal to 0, divided by 1 factorial times x to the power of 1, and so on and so on. Now, these notations of the nth derivative can of course be written in a way that we are familiar with. So we get the zeroth derivative of a function of x is simply this function itself. So we have f of 0 divided by 0 factorial is just 1, and x to the power of 0 is also 1. Then we add to this the first derivative, so we get d of f of x over dx, and we fill this in in x is equal to 0. Then we multiply this with x to the power of 1, which is simply x. And we do this at infinitum. So we see that taking the Taylor expansion of a specific function around x is equal to 0 basically boils down to taking derivatives of this function and then simply filling in x is equal to 0, doing this for the first, the second, and the third derivative, and so on until you've reached the appropriate accuracy. And then for each term simply slap on this x to the power of n and divide by n factorial and you are completely done. And this already brings us to the end of this video. Now, the examples we'll leave for another time. If you learned something, give this video a thumbs up. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.